Naam, asante sana, asante sana kwa kuungana nasi. Hiki ni kipindi mpya kabisa, kipindi ni michakato majimbo. Ni ambao kipenda tukakuwa tukipiga gumzo kutoka kwa majimbo kadha ili kuangazia masuala ya uongozi, masuala ya usimamizi bora wa rasilimali zako. Kumbuka ya kwamba wakati kuna usimamizi mbaya wa rasilimali, wakati kuna uongozi mbaya, kuna mambo kadha ambayo hutendeka. Kenya kwa kweli naibuka kutoka hali ya uongozi mbaya na katika ile uh, hali ya kujaribu kurekebisha haya madhara tukapata katiba mpya nayo katiba mpya ikagatua mamlaka kutoka kwa serikali kuu hadi kwa serikali ya magatuzi leo swali ni je unaelewa vipi namna ya uongozi katika magatuzi na je unajua vile unaweza kushirikishwa katika uongozi haya yote tutaangazia katika kipindi hiki tutatembea katika majimbo kadhaa Meru Twaja Eldoret Kisumu Dala Mombasa tupo lakini kwanza kabisa sa michakato majimboni na kujia kutoka jimbo la Narok Narok mpo Mji wa Narok uko kusini magharibi mwa Kenya kilomita 146 magharibi mwa Nairobi katika mkoa wa bonde la Ufa ni mji mkuu wa kaunti ya Narok na ni kituo kikuu cha biashara wilayani humo. Mji huu una wakazi takriban 1044 wengi wao wakiwa wa Maasai. Narok is a very beautiful place. Uh, the Narok people are very friendly. Naturally it's occupied by the Maasai. Watu ya Narok kwa kweli ni watu ambao wa Maasai ni watu wa karimu, wamekaribisha makabila zote katika wilaya hii na tunafanya kazi pia ni watu wa bidii, wanapenda ukulima, ufugaji na pia kuhifadhi wanyama wa pori. Kulingana na uchunguzi uliofanywa mwaka wa mbili na kumi, Jimbo la Narok lina jumla ya watu laki nane elfu hamsini na miatisa na ishirini. Jimbo hili lina maeneo bunge matatu yakiwa ni Narok Kusini, Narok Kaskazini na Kilgoris. Mapato ya Jimbo hili hutokana na mbuga la wanyama la Masai Mara, mto wa Mara na mashamba ya ngano. Mapato mengine ni ya fedha za maendeleo ya umma ama CDF. Shughuli za kiuchumi katika eneo hili ni utalii, ukulima na ufugaji wa wanyama. Jimbo hili lina shule 571 za msingi. Wanafunzi wa shule za msingi ni laki moja elfu saba na tano na mia nne na tisa, mwalimu mmoja akisimamia wanafunzi 33. Shule za upili ni sitini na moja. Wanafunzi wa shule za upili ni elfu kumi na tatu, mia nane na hamsini na mbili. Shule za masomo ya ufundi ni nane na chuo kikuu ni kimoja. Eneo hili lina hospitali kuu tatu na zaidi ya vituo mia moja vya afya. Daktari mmoja katika eneo hili anasimamia jumla ya watu laki moja, mia tisa na hamsini na tatu. Hospitali kuu ya Narok na ya Transmara ni moja wapo ya hospitali zinazojulikana. Haya ni baadhi ya masuala yatakayoangaziwa katika kipindi hiki siku ya leo. Tazamaji tunakujia kutoka Jimbo la Narok uh, kaunti moja ambayo ina rasilimali tele vipande vya ardhi ni kubwa zaidi lakini Narok uh, inabaki kuwa kaunti ambayo uh, rasilimali zali, uh, zake hazijaangaziwa vilivyo umaskini umekidhiri na tuko hapa ili kuangazia masuala ambayo uh, wakazi wa Narok wanakumbana nayo na tumeu, tunaungana kwa wakati huu na washirikishi teule kutoka sekta mbali mbali hapa na Rokiji ili kuangazia hayo masuala nam vile tutafanya tutaangazia kwanza tutataja tu yale masuala ambayo uh, mnakumbana nayo na halafu tutayajadili uh, kwa undani zaidi kwa hivyo tuulize tu kwa, kwa kutaja tu ni masuala gani ambayo kama wakazi wa Naro mnakumbana nayo mte yote pale kama uko na microphone unaweza uh, the Taji. first thing is a um, lack of uh, good infrastructure Uh, jambo lingine ni kwamba <coughs> elimu ambayo ni duni katika wilaya ya Narok ambayo tunataka kuangazia kabisa kielimu ambayo mm. itapata kwetu inua 
Elimu tutaangazia. Asante sana. I'm Mosonic Wilson. Uh, another thing is lack of information. Mm, lack of information. Majina yangu naitwa Manase Saitoti Ndutu. Tutazungumzia usimamizi mbaya wa mboga za kitaifa kule kama Masai Mara is an issue. My name is Wilson Saroni. Mm -hmm. Kitu kitu imetukidhiri imi, imi sana hapa ni ufisadi. Ufisadi. Eh ni John Topisia. Uh, jambo lingine ni uongozi mbaya. Kwa majina ni Gideon Olekisio na ningependa tu kutaja eh, matumizi mabaya ya rasilimali hasa uh, mbuga ya wanyama ya Masai Mara revenue collection. Uh, mambo mengine kama kwa jina mawili. Kwa jina ni Edi Tanjage kiwango cha elimu ni cha chini tungetaka kuangazia hayo. Naam asante mama mwisho tafadhali. Mimi ni Antutu. Mm -hmm. The health sector is not good in Haro. You said the health sector. Health. Health, health sector. facilities ah, are not okay. sufficient. Asante sana afya ya mwisho basi. Mimi ni Sebastian Kamamia kosevu wa ajira ya kutosha kwa vijana. Ajira asante sana. Uh, nataka tuuguzie mambo kadhaa. Kuna mtu ametaja ame swa, swala la mara na ni kuzungumza na wengine wenu nimejua and ama nime, nime realize kwamba swala la mara game reserve imekuwa ni kero uh, zaidi kwa wakazi wa Narok actually collection of revenue in Masai Mara kuna system ambayo ili introduce there is an agreement between Equity Bank and Narok County Council introduce actually without involving the stakeholders who are the community itself kwa hivyo ningependa kusema community haikuhusishwa katika kuanzi, ku, kuanzisha ama kuandika hiyo agreement na la pili hii agreement iko na effect kwa sisi tukiwa wanafunzi na juu <coughs> kitu ya kwanza ningependa ku, kusema ne bursaries kuna hii bursaries na ndim percent ambayo tunalipiwa kama wanafunzi and actually imefanya sisi kwa wanafunzi tu, tujiunge kwa shule vyo vikuu na colleges na sasa hakuna kama tukiintroduce hii hii e-ticketing hatutapata hiyo nafasi. Alafu kitu ya pili, hii agreement ambayo ime 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 ime, 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 ime kuwa it, it take over for the next 10 years of which it will affect the coming county government juu ile collection uh, revenue uh, 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 usimamizi uh, sisi tukiwa wa Maasai atu, atuna uh, atuoni kama kuna njia uwazi ambayo wa viongozi wetu walitumia kwenda kuingia kwa hii agreement na kitu ya kitu ya tatu ni hii agreement ina ina, ina charge 7% equity bank charge uh, total charge of 7% of which the there is some inter, interested parties ambayo walikuwa na charge 2% so uh, as masses we are saying that there, there is a hidden agenda behind that that statement kwa kwa jili hii interest, interest in some some parties ambayo wangecharge pesa kidogo walinyimwa and actually kuna the, the commission ambayo ili, ili, ilikuja last, last month na ili, ilikuwa na kama mheshimiwa kutunyi wacha ni kwatie kidogo niulize na ningetaka jibu kwa mmoja tu wenye mlihusishwa katika kusaini agreement ama mlijaribu kujihusisha hamkuweza eh kwangu mimi naitwa Gideon Mwitalen and uh, I'm a resident of Narok for real uh, this issue was not involved to the community one being the stakeholders of the community every person has a right even in the new constitution that every person has a right to be involved in every agreement or in anything that is going that touches directly to the community so everything that was touching the agreement that narrow county council and equity back procured was weird definitely the procurement process from the beginning of 10 years procurement 7% to the persons who are involved in the agreement was weird. So definitely everything was bad and I don't think uh, what was involved in the agreement was good. So for me, being the one of the stakeholders of Narok and the resident of this community, it is not good that in everything that is being involved to the community or touches the community direct, it is not good uh, or it is not good for them not to be uh, responsible of their things. Thank you. Na masanti sana. Kuna mtu mmoja tu angeza kumalizia hilo swala la mara ndiyo tuwelike kwa hilo swala lingine. Ya, yeah, asanti sana kumajina netwa John Saroni. Mimi ni mkaji wa Naro. Na ngependa tu kuchangia. Ngependa kusema kuwa 
uh, ukiangalia vile e-ticketing ilikuwa introduced katika uh, mboga la pori la ya wanyama uh, which is uh, Masai Mara National Reserve haikuwa introduced kwa ile njia ambayo inafaa kwa kuwa wenyeji hawakuuzishwa na pia ukiangalia katika zile terms ambazo ziko katika contract hii ambayo ilikuwa baina ya Equity Bank na Narok County Council ilikuwa ni ni contract mzuri sana kwa upande ya Equity lakini kwa upande ya Narok County Council ilikuwa ni contract ambayo hata mtu yoyote wa chini yule ambaye hajasoma angeweza kuona kuwa ni contract isiyo isiyo far hata kidogo na kabla ya tuendelee na swala lingine mtazamaji ningependa kukukumbusha ya kwamba wa, ya kwanza ya kipindi hiki tutaangazia masuala zile shida ambazo uh, wakazi unakumbana nazo na katika awamu ya pili tutaangalia zile suluhisho ambazo uh, zinaweza wekwa ile mikakati na inaweza ikawekwa ili ku, uh, ku, ku, kukabiliana na haya maneno kuna mtu hapo kidogo ali, alitaja swala la ufisadi ufisadi umekidhiri vipi uh, jimbo hili la Naro Asante sana kwa majina mimi naitwa Alex Kesier. Ufisadi kwa kusema ukweli katika kaunti hii ya Narok umekithiri kwa muda mrefu zaidi. Kwa sababu kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba sisi tuko na rasilimali nyingi ambazo zingewezesha wananchi wa sehemu hii uh, kuwa na uh, uh, anasema kuwa na nafasi nzuri ya kupata elimu bora, afya na vile vile barabara kwa sababu tukisema kaunti hii iko na sehemu ambayo inaweza kupata pesa ya kusimamia kutengeneza barabara kadhaa ambazo asisimamii na serikali. Kwa hivyo ufisadi imetumaliza ime kuhusiana na mambo ya ardhi ya kurokota ile ushuru kwamba wale ambao walitukwa jukumu ya kurokota ushuru ndio wa, walirudi kwenda kuwa wanaotumia ile ushuru kifyao bila kuwasaidia wale wananchi. kwa mfano kama nikisema na Rock County Council Uh, kaunti hii ni kaunti ambayo iko na pesa nyingi sana lakini wale ambao wanafanya kazi kule iwe kutoka madiwani au wale ambao ni warokota ushuru wale makarani wa kurokota na vile vile wafanyikazi katika ile kaunti mm. uh, wafanyi ile kazi ambayo inafaa kuwasaidia wale wananchi mm -hmm. uh, kama vile kaunti hii iko na uh, miradi nyingi ambazo huwa inafanya lakini nusu yake inafaulu kufanywa inaonekana ufisadi umekidhiri hapa jimbo tutaguzia hilo swali tutaangalia zile suluhisho kuna swala lingine ambalo limejitokeza leo na ni swala la uh, watu wale mavu ningetaka tukujua tu kabisa mwanzo uh, utamaduni wa wakazi wa, 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 wa Narok najua wa Masai ndio wengi zaidi ningetaka kujua utamaduni una, unaangalia vipi kuhusu watu ambao ni wale mavu uh, nashukuru bwana mtangazaji kwa majina naitwa Paulo Lesopia ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa watu wale mavu hapa wilayani Narok county na pia eh, nikigusia tu ni kwamba eh, kimila na desturi na itikadi hawa watu ni kama watu ambao wametengwa, wamenyanyaswa, haki zao asipate kuangaziwa katika nyanja ya uongozi, katika nyanja pia ya kuajiriwa. Shukuru nyingi, wanakuwa kanya taabu nyingi. Unakuta kwamba hawasi wakaridhi shamba. Hawasi unakuta kwamba hata wakati hata kuoa ni shida kwa maana kuna mtu ambaye anaasa pengine labda kuruhusu msiana wake na mtu wa aina hiyo. Eh, wanakuwa na kitu ambaye tunaita unyanyapaa. Eh, na ile hali ya kudunishwa kabla tu tumalize hii awamu ya kwanza kuna swala la, la, la kimasomo ningetaka mwenye litoa hilo swala azungumzie azungumzie kwa kifupi tu ndio tu kwa awamu nyingine kwa majina naitwa Andy Tanjage there is no proper representation of schools in those areas you find that young children walk long distances there are few teachers the classes are pathetic in mm -hmm. some areas mm -hmm. there is no water for children mm -hmm. Generally, they, they also pass through the world no. wildlife area. No, There is no. no security. Proper education, yeah, lack so of security. So distribution of infrastructure for education Indeed. is unfair. Tutaangazia hayo yote. Na msuala la masomo tutaangazia kwa kina zaidi katika wamu ya pili ya kipindi hiki. Kumbuka unatazama michakato majimboni. Tukiangazia masuala ya na husu ungozi na usimamizi bora. Na katika hili jimbo la naro kuna masuala kala ya meibuka. Swala la mara na kuhusishwa kwa wakazi wa naro. Swala la masomo pia swala la ufisadi. Ni suluhisho gani ambazo sisi kama wakazi tunaweza tukazileta tuka, tuka ili tupate nchi yenye maendeleo ama gatuzi lenye maendeleo 
haya yote tutaangazia katika awamu ya pili ya kipindi hiki. Unatazama michakato majimboni tunarudi wakati usio mbali. Narok is a wonderful county. It has been blessed with so many resources. Talk of the seven wonders of the world, that is Masai Mara. It's right within the heart of Narok. Tunafrai ya kuwaona, ata kuwaona shirika lenu hili la utangazaji limekuja kwa enlighten development nao maendeleo ya hali ambayo nafanyika itika ula hii jumbo litu la Narok. Naam unatazama michakato majimboni tukujia kutoka Jimbo la Narok tukiangazia masuala kadhaa ya uongozi ya kushirikishwa kwa wananchi katika usimamizi wa rasilimali na mambo kadhaa ambayo yanahusika katika majimbo kadhaa kumbuka hata wewe ukiwa nyumbani unaweza ukachangia katika kipindi hiki unaweza ukashiriki kwa kutuma ujumbe mfupi kwa nambari 3002 that's uh, 3002 ukianza na MFA ama herufi MF E, unaweza pia ukatupata kwa tovuti ama website www.uchaguzi.or.ke na tukirudia yale majadiliano yetu ambayo tulikuwa nayo hapo awali tukaangalia yale masuala ambayo mnashughulika nayo tukaona tukaangazia masuala kama manne hivi kuna swala la ufisadi swala la mara masomo na wale mavu tuanze haswa na swala la masomo Mungetaka kufanyike vipi ili hali ya masomo ibadilike katika Jimbo la Narok? Ni msuluhisho gani ambazo sisi kama wakazi wa Narok tunaweza tukafanya ili tupate masomo yakiendelea katika Jimbo? Naam. Asante. We would like to see as educators that all children have received the basic education from ECD. Previously the Narok uh, County Council has been employing teachers. This is not fair because they cannot cater for all the teachers that are needed for our children. We want to see teachers from the Teacher Service Commission, young, vibrant teachers who are idling, jobless, that can serve these children of the Maasai community so that they can lift the standard of education. Lakini kuna lile swala uh, kwamba kuna wazazi ambao hawapeleki watoto shuleni hata kama shule zile shule ni chache. Sisi kama wakazi tunaweza tukasaidia vipi? Wazazi, they have come out strongly to bring out their children to get education, but sometimes they get discouraged the moment they realize that the teacher-student ratio is very low, such that there is not that close monitoring of every child. Because our children need motivation, they need a teacher in class every now and then, but if they come and find no teachers, they'll have no motivation. They'll opt to go back to the old lifestyle of grazing or going with their parents to other chores that are critical in the community. Now, you've mentioned about taking the children to school. I was having a conversation a little earlier with my good friend here. Na aliniambia kwamba katika ile community yao juzi wamekuwa celebrations. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu kuna wasichana wanne ambao wamehitimu labda kidogo utu utuambie ama utueleze vipi swala la elimu katika a uh, community yenu. Okay, ni kweli kwamba uh, kwa community ile inatoka. Natoka katika jamii ya Okiek. Uh, juzi hivi majuzi last year tulifanya celebration it is a kind of graduation. Tulipata wasichana wane wenye waliweza kuitimu kumaliza kidato cha nne. Na si kawaida katika hiyo jamii wasichana kuitimu na kumaliza kidato cha nne kuona kwamba ni muhimu tufanye hiyo celebration ndio to motivate wale wako nyuma kwa hivyo tunaona tunaona changamoto tuna changamoto mingi katika sekta ya elimu na asante sana kwa mchango wako nataka tuangazie swala lingine kwa sababu ya wakati swala la mara na hilo ni kero zaidi mkasema amkuhusishwa ungetaka kuhusishwa vipi ili amuwe um, part and parcel of uh, uh, management ya mara shida ile iko wa masai wanalalamika juu ya serikali kunyamasa kuona ufisadi ikiendelea mimi siogovi kusema mbele hii kipindi ya kwamba kuna watu ambayo hata wanaenda tu an extent 
wanalete jamii yao hapa ndio waokote pesa kuokotea pesa yes. of the general election <coughs> barabara ukitembea saa hii kutoka hapa utembee upande ya mara hii gari ndogo hii unaona hapa haiwezi fika barabara ni mbovu zaidi ni mpofu zaidi mm. na ukisikia chairman ya county council akiongea kwa hiyo gazeti anasema tunaokota more than 70 million a month ni kitu ambayo angeulizwa na unaokota na unaweka wapi nataka kuuliza swali mmeongea kuhusu viongozi viongozi ambao uh, inakawapeleki vile inavyofaa lakini sisi ndio tulichagua wale viongozi na tu wakaja kwetu tukawapigia kura ni suluhu gani ambayo tunaweza tukaa nayo ili atupate viongozi wanaofaa ni e, ile suluhu ambayo tungetafuta na ile kitu ambayo tungefanya kwa ukweli kwanza wamasai walimishwe na na sisemi hata kuseme wa mm-hmm. jamii wale ambayo wanakaa na roko mm-hmm. na wale w- jamii yote mm-hmm. ya Kenya mm-hmm. e, tuhakikishe ya kwamba during the election ni lazima tujague viongozi ambao Narok County haitakuwa kiosk ya kutajirisha wale wanaishi Nairobi au wanaishi Mombasa mm-hmm. tutangalia wale ambao wanaishi tutangazia katiba mpya inavyosema kuhusu rasimali kama hizi nataka tuangazie swala lingine kwa wakati huu kwa sababu ya wakati kuna masuala kadhaa tuligusia swala la ufisadi masomo mara na nataka tuguzie swala la wale mavu kwa wakati huu eh tukiguzia swala la wale mapu, pia mimi ni kiongozi wa wale mavu kutoka pande ya Narok South mm-hmm. Uh, pale katika Narok South tuko na wale mafu wengi sana na wamebaguliwa kielimu eh, kule hatuna mashule ambayo zinajali wale mafu na pia eh, hata katika jamii zao jamii hawaangalii pia ili kugawia rasilimali walizo nazo katika pale mashinani so tungependa kusema kwamba tukiwa wakaaji wa Narok swala hili la wale mafu linatukera sana kwa sababu tunaishi na wanyama wildlife mahali kama hiyo mara ambayo imetajwa watu wanakanyangwa na ndofu watu wana, wanapata vile mavu pia tuko hatarini pia conflict kama vita hapo kati ya clashes na narok pia inaleta pia inachangia wale mafu kwa wingi so tukiwa wakaji wa hapa narok tunasema kwamba swala so, hili la wale mafu tuko na wale mafu wengi na tungependa pia serikali ingilie kati kujengea mashule kama boarding ambayo sitaweza kuketa Uh, the need of the people disability in Narok County. Na kuna hili swala mna, mnaguzia sana serikali ingilie kati serikali ingilie kati lakini sisi wenyewe tumefanya nini hilo ndilo swali. Uh, asante sana mtangazaji. <coughs> Jambo hili ambaye ningetaka kuongezea hapo kama vile mesango wamesema mm-hmm. <coughs> ni kwamba uh, hili ambaye sisi tunajaribu ni kuona kwamba ni uhamasisho kuhamasisha jamii zile ambayo wanaishi na watu wale mafu pia wapate kuangazia haki zao na hata kufikishia wale ambayo washikadao wote tuseme kama mashirika mbalimbali e, serikali ikiwepo e, committee ambayo ni school management committee e, watengeneza katika mazingira yale ambayo hawa watoto hata wanapata kupata elimu kwa karibu unit sipate kujengwa mm-hmm. ya kuweka wale watoto na pengine labda iwe boarding watoto tunapendelea kwamba mtoto akae na wale wasasi wao mm-hmm. wapate kuona desturi yao na mila zao na hata kukaribia na wao kwa bana ni watu ambao wana mashida asante tafauti. Sana, asante kwa hivyo hivyo ndio tunajaribu ku, kuangazia. Mm-hmm. Asante. Uh, before uh, kabla tumalize ningetaka kupata ningependa kupatia nafasi kidogo tu kwa wakati mfupi sana sekunde 30 uguze hilo swala la wale wale mavu. Unataka kuguzia swala gani? I just want to have had everybody talking and all these problems we are facing we are seeing just because of bad governance. And when I look at this forum no one is above 60 mm-hmm. the majority of us are under 40 and we are the leaders of now not tomorrow indeed uh, the so, issue the issue of governance coming y- up yeah the issue of bad governance bad governance yeah we are getting that uh, We are seeing all those bad issues. Indeed and we have a role to play and yeah. uh, the new constitution the new yeah. constitution uh, has given us that we will be looking at the contents of the new constitution. Asante sana mtazamaji kwa kuungana nasi. Unatazama michakato majimbo ni tukiangazia masuala kadhaa ambayo yanahusu majimbo kadhaa hii leo tukiwa katika jimbo la Narok. Tushaangalia suluhisho kamili lakini kuna swali moja ama swala moja ambalo limeibuka kuhusu uongozi. Kiongozi anayefaa ni nani? 
Nani, what are some of the qualities of a good leader? We'll be looking at that in not too long. Remember, you can join this debate. Unaweza ukachangia pia kwa kutuma ujumbe mfupi kwa nambari 3002 ukianza na MFA kwa website ama kwa tovuti ni www.uchaguzi.or.k. Wakati tukarejea pia tutangazia uongozi mzuri una ni uko vipi ama ni kiongozi gani ambayo tunaweza sema ni kiongozi mzuri na tuko na mfano hayo yote katika awamu ya tatu ya michakato majimboni we are back in a moment tazama michakato majimboni tutakujia kutoka jimbo la Narok. Kumbuka pia unaweza kachangia katika kipindi hiki kwa kutuma ujumbe mfupi kwa nambari 3002 ukianza na herufi MFA ama you send an SMS to the number 3002 start with MFA on website ama kwa tovuti www uchaguzi.or.ke na kabla ya kupumua kidogo tuliangazia masuala ambayo yanahusika na uongozi na tunaweza tukaangalia mambo yapi katika kiongozi mzuri kuna jama moja kutoka hili jimbo la Narok anaitwa Petero Ngamasai na ana mfano mzuri wa kiongozi ni nani ameshughulikia swala la masomo na swala la tohara kwa wasichana angalia Hapa pali tunasimama hapa ni Kikuyan area ambayo hapa ndiyo base ya ofisi yetu ya KPNCBO. Tumeanza tu kama group kidogo ile self help group na ile shida ambayo ni shida tu yani umaskini ambayo tumeona iko area hii. Masomo yuko chini watu ambayo wajajua maendeleo tunapakana na watu ambayo wamesoma na hapa ni area kidogo ambayo imetengwa. Kasi ya kwanza tumeanza Kikuyan ni kuhakikisha kila mtoto ameenda shule. Yes, tumetumia achiva wakati yeah. huo tukaleta siku moja watoto 99 kupeleka shule na tukaanzia shule ya pili mambo ya FGN tumeanza wakati ambayo hakuna mtu anakubali ukitaja kitu unavuguzwa nyumbani mpaka wakati huo tunapeleka watu kwa polisi na sasa tumefaulu shida ilikuwa ni ilikuwa kubwa sana kwa sababu msichana ambao ni wa Kimazai hakuwa na haki yoyote kwamba iki, akifika miaka nane, saba, kumi, a, anaonekana kana kwamba amekuwa mtu mzima haijalishi amesoma haijalishi hajasoma lakini lazima apitie tohara hii senda ilianza kwa kupitia njia ya injili a, wahubiri walihubiri injili msichana kika akajua haki zake kwamba si vizuri kuharibiwa kwa njia ya tohara wakajua kwamba si vizuri kupeanwa hatua uh, na umri wa miaka michache na ilipotokea hivyo wakawa sasa wanatukimbilia kama kanisa nimefurahi tu kwa hapa juu wamenisaidia nikakuja nikasoma nafanya mtihani wa darasa la nane kapata alama 272 na mimi na matarajio yangu ni kwanza secondary nikimaliza nende university alafu nikipata kazi nitakuwa lawyer kwa hata mimi nikuja nisaidia sasa na wengine wale nyana zingilia na wazazi na waweka ndani tunafurahia tumeenda shule wote kwa pili afurahie ulinzi ambao wanatupea mimi kwa wale ambao nimeona kuna wale ambao wamefanywa tohara lakini maisha yao si mzuri na tena wale ambao wamepeona wakiwa wadogo tao wako na shida. Ninatumia ekima ambayo Mungu alipea Solomani kwa sababu hiyo ni kasi ni kubwa kwa sababu tuna miradi ya maji, miradi ya education, pia FGM, HIV, awareness tuna miradi. Tangu ICBO ianze watoto wetu wamepata haki yao kwa masomo 
na wame na hata wazazi wameona masomo yanastahili kwa mtoto sana sana msichana anapewa haki yake na tena nafasi ya kufurahi pamoja na wengine kwa sababu watoto wasichana hapo mbeleni walikuwa wanapatiwa kazi mingi wanakosa nafasi ya ya, ya kucheza na wanzao Petro as one of our leaders in the church uh, on the side of development has really struggled a lot within the community uh, to gather peoples and uh, educate them the importance of uh, helping a girl child especially those girls that are uh, neglected and those who are forced in the early forced marriages and also the orphan one so you have really assisted kwa kweli Petro ni mjoli wetu na weza zema ni mjoli wetu maana ni mshirika wetu wa kanisa ni mzee wetu wa kanisa na mpaka hapo hakika tumesaidiana na yeye tumetrain already watoto 250 ambao sana wame graduate sasa hapo saini na haki ya kwamba tumefanya hata Mungu amehesabu na ni watoto nane peke yao ndio amepitia tena amealazimishwa na bado wako rescue bado wako sahi shule na wanaendelea vizuri hayo ni mambo ambayo ama jitihada ambazo wananchi wengine ama baadhi ya wa wakazi wa Naro kwamefanya ili kujaribu kutatua shida zenye uh, Petero Ngamasai akiwa uh, moja uh, wale ambao tumeangazia siku ya leo. Nataka tujadili kidogo kuhusu yale mambo ambayo Petero amefanya. Uh, mkiangalia vizuri kuna those leadership qualities kwa uh, Petero ama what are those, those leadership qualities ambazo ameona um, kwa Peter uh, Petero Ngamasai. Yeah, I've seen some uh good uh, qualities of a leader in him since he has given himself out to go out there and help the community and initiating projects that can help a girl child uh, i think i admire that in him thanks to the new constitution in chapter 6 we can see the integrity that's required in him so if we can emulate as the future leaders mm -hmm. i think we can umeguzia uh, swala la integrity swala lingine afikiri kama vile ngama sasa yamefanya kiongozi anayefaa kushughulikia wananchi anafaa kuachukua wale wananchi wa chini kabisa na pia kujaribu kuwasaidia kama vile wale wasichana ambao hawakuwa wana uwezo wa kujua ni vipi wanaweza jisaidia kuepuka na maneno ambayo mm -hmm. ama vitendo kama ile ya kutoswa tora ama ku, kuolewa mapema na kukosa elimu nafikiri tukiwa na jukumu watu kuchukua jukumu kama hilo ni jambo nzuri zaidi Shida iliyopo ni kwamba wale viongozi ambao tunao kwa sasa wamejiweka juu sana mpaka kufika kule kwa wananchi chini itakuwa ni vigumu kwao kuja pale na kuchukua wale watoto kama vile walivyofanya wale na kuwapeleka shuleni ni watu ambao hata kuwaona itakuwa ni vigumu zaidi ama kuwasungumzia Petero has really motivated me rather because uh, he has the opportunity by actually identifying the problems that his fellow community faces and educating a girl child education uh, a, a girl child according to the normal traditions is educating a whole society so that has really motivated me a lot like in the in the current situation of leadership in Arok we've got ma many problems because uh, leaders cannot seize opportunities they cannot in they are not innovative rather mm. we, we ought to be seeing industries flowing in Narok mm -hmm. and as a result employment problems will actually be catered for so that is a quite encouraging work and i really applaud him applauding for that kama tutachagua viongozi those are some of the qualities ambazo tunafaa tuziangazie lakini tuko na katiba mpya na hii katiba mpya uh, kiini chake haswa ilikuwa kujaribu kurekebisha haya madhara ya uongozi mbaya na kuna mambo kadhaa yametendeka wakati tumepata katiba mpya tukapata magatuzi swali ni je unaelewa jukumu lako katika ugatuzi na unaelewa vile magatuzi yatakuwa yakifanya kazi na haswa vile sisi tutaweza kuhusika katika ule uongozi na kwa majina naitwa Daniel Sapit and I just want to comment about uh, 
the devolution vile tumepata katiba mpya wananchi wamepata kwa mara ya kwanza nafasi ya ku, ya kuonyesha viongozi yale mahitaji yao kwa sababu inaonekana viongozi wamekuwa wakipata uongozi lakini wanafanya hiyo uongozi kujitendea ma, ma, e, zao shida zao badala ya shida za wananchi hiyo ni jambo la kwanza jambo la, la pili ni kwamba wananchi wamepatiwa haki katika hiyo katiba kwamba watekeleze na wahakikishe kwamba their needs are met not just not just uh, their, their needs thought by other people but their needs according to how they want their needs to be done na kwamba hiyo ndio nafikiri hiyo ndio changamoto kwa kwa, kwa kaunti yetu ya Narok kwamba tumekuwa na viongozi hizo miaka zote hizo hiyo muda yote na lakini ule mwelekeo wenye wamekuwa nao ni mwelekeo wa wa kuleta uh, uh, corruption uh, 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 mwelekeo ambao wa kuonyesha kwamba ni ubinafsi na sasa tunataka kutubadilisha hiyo na tukuna nafasi hii sasa na masanti sana uh, tukimalizia kidogo uh, kwa kwa kidogo uh, kuna hizi hizi majukumu ama majukumu kadhaa ambayo yametwikwa uh, kwa viongozi katika magatuzi uh, tuko na governor tuko na naibu wake tuna ile county assembly je tunaelewa vile ambavyo inafaa kufanya kazi na sisi tunashirikishwa vipi kwa sababu hilo ni jambo muhimu zaidi na tunawezaje tukapata viongozi wale wanaofaa katika zile ofisi ya asanti sana ningependa tu kusema kuwa Uh, katika ugatuzi tumeona kuwa uh, kuna positions ambazo zimekuwa created tutakuwa na uchaguzi wa mtu atakayejulikana kama senator tutakuwa pia na MP ama member of parliament na pia tutakuwa na governor na governor ndio atakuja kuwa kiongozi wa county nzima kwa mfano Narok county itaongozwa na governor na governor pia atakuwa na ofisi lake na pale chini tutakuwa na executive ambao atachaguliwa na governor na pia kutakuwa na county representatives ambao watachaguliwa ama ni jukumu letu wananchi kwa chagua county representative ningependa tu kutambua uh, uwepo wa the current constitution the one that we are using now ya kuwa imesema hapo ndani katika vipengele uh, i think chapter 6 ni lazima kiongozi yule atakayechukua ofisini lazima integrity yake iweze kuchunguzwa na ni pia ime support kuwa kiongozi yule ambaye atakuwa atakayechaguliwa ataka, ataka ni lazima katika level tofauti ni lazima awe ni kiongozi ambaye amepata ame, 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 ame masomo kwa mfano kama kuwa county representative ni lazima uwe na masomo ya kidato cha nne kwenda juu na ukitaka kuwa member of parliament ni lazima uwe na you know, degree ndio uweze kuwa member of parliament na ningependa tu kuomba serikali wasibadilishe hayo kwa sababu hapo juzi tulikuwa tunaona uh, mbunge mmoja akisema wangependa ku introduce bill katika parliament ili waweze kuteremushe standards za, za county uh, representative na hiyo ndio imekuwa kuja kuwa shida sana katika wakaji wa Nara kwa sababu viongozi wale ambao tuko nao ni watu ambao hawajasoma ni watu ambao hawajaiona darasa hata kwa macho hivi na wakienda ku make decisions zile ambazo zinahusu uh, sisi wananchi wana make decisions ambazo haifai kabisa
kama uko hapo nyumbani many thanks indeed uh, there's a whole uh, responsibility jukumu ambalo wewe kama mwananchi umetwikwa na katiba mpya ni jukumu la juu zaidi hasua katika kushiriki katika uongozi na usimamizi bora and we should take this responsibility and so that we can have a more developed uh, economy now that we've moved uh, from uh, you know the central system of governance to county government is very important that we know who our leaders are we understand uh, the uh, works of the county government and how we can as citizens be part party to uh, how our uh, how our counties are managed so that we can have checks and balances indeed many thanks to ashkuru sana akisi twaja jimbo la kisi tuangazia yale masuala ambayo mnakumbana nayo hapo ni wiki ijayo na wenyu mbani unaweza kushiriki pia katika hiki kipindi kwa kutuma ujumbe mfupi kwa nambari 3002 tofauti yetu ni www.uchaguzi.or.k hadi wiki ijayo kwa ndiyo mbaya wale wote ambao wamefanikisha kipindi hiki jina langu ni John Kago asante sana hadi wiki ijayo alamsiki Let me make the changes. All right. Let's let's choose good leaders, yeah. All right. <laughs>